The fourth and final day of the Hmong Cultural New Year wrapped up in Southeast Fresno. Action News anchor Vanessa Vasconcelos shows us the traditions that were celebrated and the budding business putting a modern twist on traditional Hmong food. One, two, three, happy New Year! Dreary skies were no match for the vibrant colors and patterns of traditional Hmong clothing that filled the Fresno fairgrounds. Welcome to be here. It's beautiful. It's a little rainy, but it's beautiful weather. Thousands came from around the world to participate in the largest Hmong New Year festival in the country. Four days of pageants, food, dancing, live music, and the Hmong Story Legacy Vinay exhibit educated visitors about the experiences of the Hmong community. To kind of like tell the story of the Hmong people that came from Laos to Thailand. And you know, we do that for, for, for a purpose. It's to educate our children. Do not forget your past. Organizers say the tradition spanning generations offers a great sense of cultural identity and unity. It's the best way for us to preserve our culture and to pass that down to, to, to our sons and daughters. And this is, this is the best way we, we have to like demonstrate and show them that be proud of you who, are, who you are and your culture. Among the sea of delicious dining options, you can find sisters Kara and Jamie Lee putting a modern twist on traditional food. Everything on the stick made its debut at this year's festivities. We have our chicken wings, our pork belly, our home sausage, our American sausage, uh, egg rolls, sticky rice banana leaves. The best seller came as no surprise to this taste tester. Oh my gosh, it was. Beef skewers. The siblings grew up attending Hmong Cultural New Year with their family, something that inspired the concept. So we want to involve with the society, involve with our culture. I find it really hard to always have to find, have to find a seat to eat. So I thought about, you know, why don't somebody just create food on a stick and you just walk and eat at the same time? Now that they're on the business side of the celebration, they've developed a new appreciation for the organizers and vendors that made their childhood Hmong New Year experience one worth repeating. You come and you're just basically here to enjoy and basically enjoy the food, whereas when you, as a vendor, you're here as a business, right? And, you're, and your main focus is actually to make the, hap the customers happy and make sure that they get the best product ever. For now, everything on the stick is available only for private events, but the hope is to open a food truck or storefront. You can follow their journey on Facebook or Instagram. In Southeast Fresno, Vanessa Vasconcelos, ABC 30 Action News.